Well, good Sunday to each and every one of you. It's Catfish Tyler. And uh, wow, I got some interesting news for you. And coincidentally, it involves institutions that have been coming in, as I've been mentioning to you lately. I was seeing a lot of institutional uh, investing going on. And if you'll just give me a second here, uh, this is Catfish Tyler. I'm appreciating you being here with me on this channel. I know there's plenty of other places that uh, you can spend your time, but when you come here and check this out, I appreciate it. And uh, I just wanted to say, go Detroit today. I'm uh, going to be playing against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm fairly sure we should win that game. And uh, anyway, because of the Jacksonville Jaguars' poor performance in this year, but that's not what I'm here to tell you about. I'm here to tell you about SoFi and institutional ownership. Now, uh, let me just pull this over here where you can see. And as I have been mentioning to you, SoFi's institutional ownership, and I'm just going to have to, rather than do it this way, I'll move this display capture up here to the top. Hold on just a second here. And then we'll put me back over in the small area of the screen right there. And hopefully that will uh, put everything where it should be. Uh, I don't know for sure, but my pick should be up there on the corner once I hit this display. So let's just see if this works. And we're coming over here. Uh, and by the way, uh, if you're interested, come on over to my channel and subscribe. It's easy to do so. Uh, but I just want to show you this over here. SoFi Institutional Ownership Chart. And so I'm on Fintel. And I click on this. And lo and behold, just as I had predicted, ladies and gentlemen, Institutional Ownership Chart has been redesigned to accommodate the spike, the massive spike right there that I've told you needed to be needed to be shown, but they weren't showing it yet. But there it is, everyone. And the reason I'm showing you this to everyone out there is because if you happen to be, uh, well, if you're not paying attention, you should follow the money. Uh, this is a very good investment strategy. When large institutions start to make massive buy-ins, you should follow that money, all right? So that's Catfish Tyler. I just wanted to show you. They finally did revise the uh, chart today on institutional ownership. It went from a limited 500,000 over here on the top left to 550,000. And I'm glad that they didn't make it a million. I thought they might make it 1 million, but they're just going up 50,000 at a time. And soon we're going to see 600,000 up here. So anyway, just wanted to show that to you, everybody. I thought it was very interesting. And uh, I appreciate you again being here with me on uh, this channel. And uh, thank you very, very much for taking the time to take a look at this. I think you will be very glad if you get some of this SoFi stock that still currently is showing a gorgeous triple upside crossover on the uh, two-year chart. And uh, there's going to be some quick gapping up. Um, I noticed something here. Going back to, I guess I'll go ahead and show you this here too, just a second. Let me do this. Hold on just a second and I'll show you this. We'll show you something else that I noticed interesting and then we'll be on our way. Display capture to the top and here we go. So, uh, <laughs> all right. Sorry about that. Here's something else I noticed. I went all the way back to a date of 2021. And I want you to see something, folks, that on November the 11th, and I've been telling you about how fast they've made SoFi's price drop. Take a look at November 11th of 2021 and the price at 2465. Then look at just one week later, the price had dropped to 2020 on news of student loans being put on moratorium. And then one week after that, the price had dropped to $17.80. You see how fast they dropped it? Folks, these are gaps that we need to see filled as we go up. These are huge gaps. I've told you about it. Look at one week later after that. The price was at $15.96. And after that, and that was on December the 2nd, then by the December 13th, the price, price had fallen to 1402 ladies and gentlemen. You're talking about $10.63 drop from November the, 8th, the 11th 
from November the 11th, from November the 11th of 2465 to December the 13th, one month and two days, and the price had dropped all the way down to 1402, folks. That's why we're going to go right back up that fast because it fell that fast and it'll rise that fast. That's what I think. And I could be wrong, but I don't think so. So that's it, folks. I hope that has been informative to you enough to convince you to maybe invest in this stock so far. All right. Because these institutions are indeed piling in right now. That's it. Catfish Tyler. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 9, 16 a.m. Eastern Time, streaming right here. Same cat time, same cat channel. Bye-bye, everybody.